Good morning, everyone. I'm still working away, tuning this marvelous beast up. We still got some cleaning to do, but we're getting there. Cleaned him up a bunch. Ah, oh, shit, he is so balanced. I am proud of it. For a heap of junk and no tools, some sandpaper. <laughs> no lathe or nothing. I got this thing fucking tits, man. Here's the rest of it. He's still rusty here. I think... I'm pretty sure the resistance is not only from the drag of the iron uh, because the way this mm, is designed, there's an extra magnet pair in here versus the pole pairs. So it's phased. It's, it eclipses around the cores. Anyways, we won't get into it. If you know anything about motors, go, go take a look. Mm. But I think some of these coils, because I've had this lid off and on so many times over the years, I think some of these coils have been damaged and are shorting, and that's giving me some resistance there. So, it's not a big deal. I may rewind it, change it. I may take it right the fuck away and make it air core, right? But what I'm going to show you now is uh, ah, just how well he spin. He's so very well balanced. I was very impressed. I've been working on him this morning. I put the other bearing back in. This thing goes so fast. Oh my god. Scary fast. It's so balanced. A little bit of vibration at low speed. Not bad at all. This is only 20 volts. There's 35 volts. About 100 watts. Got to turn them down. Oh, yes, he haul ass. 35 volts. Look at how fast he go. So I've got him balanced much better now. Like I said, I placed the second bearing back in there. And uh, I had taken him out earlier because there wasn't enough room. So I removed the snap ring and I pound that bearing back in, the second one in way deep in there. And those two bearings right on here. And uh, yeah, anyways, he works great so fast.